welcome. This is the Cable Mania chart for the Cable Mania cowl pattern. And I have done something a little unique, and so I wanted to share some tips on how to read it. First, you have the double knitting. This is the color work portion of your cowl, where on one side you see one color is the cowl, and on the reverse side you see the other color as your cable. So to accomplish that, you will see that each of these squares has a color in it, but that color actually re represents two stitches. And what you do with double knitting is whatever you do to the first stitch, you do the opposite to the second. So you will see here that a white square means you knit with yarn A and then you purl with yarn B. This is not what you do on reverse side because you, obviously you are knitting in the round. This is what you're going to do for each stitch. You knit with yarn A and you purl with yarn B. Moving on to the next stitch, you'll see it's black and the black stitch you knit with yarn B and purl with yarn A. When you've worked some of this, you will readily see that on this side, whatever your car yarn B is, forms this cable. But on the reverse side, it's the yarn A that creates the cable, and your yarn B becomes the background. So just remember that each square represents two stitches, a knit and a purl, and that whatever you do to the knit stitch, you do the exact opposite to the purl stitch. The next thing that you'll find on this chart is borders. And each of these borders is designed to represent one row of cables in the double knitted brioche. The idea here was for me to find a way to not have to have multiple row counters. And although I am a true fan of Knit Companion and it does it beautifully, I realized that not everybody uses it and I wanted something that when printed made it really obvious if you were on row 8 that you were working the red bordered cable on the double knitted brioche. Now the trick here is you will see in the key that there are seven sets of cables, each one represented by a different color. And that's because you're not going to do a cable on the row three the first time through the chart. That's not done until cable three. Instead, your first cable is this red border on row eight. You then are going to move on to the second cable, which is pink. It's on row 16, or eight rows later. Yes, I know that with row counters, you could have easily tracked which row you were on, but it saves me writing in the pattern and at the same time, right? Because all you have to do is follow the numbers of the cables on the key to know what's coming next. Know whichever cable you're on, that's the color you need to look for. So you're going to complete the red and then the pink. You're going to go on up and finish the chart and start over and on your second repeat you're going to do the blue and the purple and then the light blue. And on the third and final repeat you will do the green and the orange. Okay, the green and the orange here. So that will complete your total seven cables with eight rounds in between for a total of 63 rounds for the total three repeats of your chart. Because you'll notice if you end on row, you do your last cable on row 14, whoops, row 14, you now have 
seven rows, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows to the end of the chart. And then when you go back to your written instructions, there is one row beyond that that you'll complete before your bind off. I hope this helps you understand the cable chart. If you have any questions, please feel free to put that question in the comments below or to email me at lisam.arcticwoolies at gmail.com. Thank you and have a nice day.